The battle over Damian Wayne's true parental heritage rages on in the pages of Deathstroke, issue number 32. What'll happen next? Well, let's hop on in together and find out. Alrighty then, so picking up from where more or less the last issue left off, Batman continues to mess with the day-to-day -day operations of Deathstroke, the DC Universe's greatest assassin. In this case, Slade Wilson's newest job is to kill this guy right here, Rex Masterson, aka an old-school superhero going by the moniker Human Dynamo. Dynamo claims that he was actually part of an old-timey superhero team called Justice Experience, which was actually a group of background heroes that appeared in the old Cameron Chase book. Now, hey, what about all that stuff with Talia al Ghul from the previous issue? Well, Slade wakes up next to her after their one-night stand, and they talk a little bit about life and love, and especially children. Talia, as tends to be her way, is pretty vague. She says that maybe part of her would have liked Deathstroke to have been the father to Damien. Maybe he would have turned out differently if that was the case. Why, I even had a little chuckle over the murderous Deathstroke raising an eyebrow to Talia's methods of impregnating herself. Basically, metaphorically forcing herself on an unwilling Batman. Jeez, Deathstroke thinks he's bad, but he's not that bad, even though, let's face it, he probably is. This issue also sees further development about what's going on with Alfred and Wintergreen, the two people who, if I had to put money on it, are probably the ones puppeteering this whole parentage conspiracy. Basically, their plot to quote-unquote save the lives of their young masters are spiraling out of control. Alfred gets stopped up in Mexico, and Wintergreen ain't doing much better where he is. The battle between Deathstroke and Batman also gets really turned up this issue, Batman pulling out all the stops and all of his most high-tech toys to try and counteract Deathstroke's years of training and the icon suit. Slade in this issue opines on why he should ever be scared of Batman when his one big rule is that he'll never cross the line into murder, while Slade has no problem doing just that. Furthermore, Deathstroke goes after Batman as a parent, saying that only a crazy person would dress up so many wayward youths in beetle boots and short shorts to go fight crime alongside him. Deathstroke, of course, being one to talk when we stop and consider all of his kids either end up dead, maimed, insane, or some combination of all three. It's here, though, the situation takes a bit of an unexpected turn. Up until now, Deathstroke and Batman have been fighting an ideological battle as much as a physical one. Things take an unexpected turn, though, when Batman discovers that Human Dynamo actually paid Deathstroke to kill him in some sort of assisted suicide attempt. You see, as he gets older, his powers grow more and more out of control, making him a danger to himself and others. He couldn't take his own life, nor could he trust anyone in the superhero community to do the job, so he reached out to Deathstroke to do this dirty but very necessary job for him. Now, hey, here's a question for you. We're three issues into this series over who Damian Wayne's real father might be, but no one has seemingly told Damian yet, but as the story winds down, Robin does actually catch wind of this. And oh, you just know he's going to have words for his father and his possible father as the comic ends. So that was Deathstroke number 32, everybody, and overall, I did enjoy it, even if I feel we're at that point that we often come to in big, long Christopher Priest story arcs where I have no idea what's going on. There are so many red herrings, so many dangling plot threads that I cannot help but leave the middle of the story a little confused, even though I do know from having taken rides similar to this before with the same creative team that, you know, everything will be answered at the end. Priest definitely has a lot of fun this issue, drawing comparisons to all the different similarities that Batman and Deathstroke have, while also perhaps making an argument as to why a guy like Slade needs to exist and needs to operate in the DC Universe, while also fully admitting that he is a piece of shit and he probably does deserve to get hit. Overall, I would give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Hey there everyone, it's Cape Jewel again, and I want to thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out some of these other videos I've been hard at work on. Then you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, at Cape Jewel, so you're always up to date on what I got coming out from the channel next. And hey, if you're in the market for a brand new comic book trade and want to save yourself some money, use my book depository link down in the description. Not only will you not have to pay a cent for shipping, but everything you buy via my link goes to help me in the channel, which is always much appreciated. So until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. I will be back again next time with more great comic content that absolutely smacks. Bye-bye, everybody.